Hello and welcome back. Currently we are in our SAP BAS and uh, what we want to do is we want to create a new project from template and this is going to be a basic hello world project. Okay, so once you select project from template, we select SAP Fury application and um, I'm going to select what kind of application I need and uh, we'll select a basic which is just going to contain a simple button which says hello world. Next is to select data source and service selection. Currently, we don't have any service which we want to integrate within this application. So we will say none and uh, navigate to the next section. After that, we will have to select the view name which will be created. So the view one will be created. By default, this is the name and we will keep it as it is. Then we have to select the project attributes. So the first is the name, module name. So I'm going to say sample, simple application, simple app one. Keep everything as it is. Here the module name should not be, have a capital, so remove that. So here within the application namespace, we can say sap.btp. So this is an optional field and it will basically categorize all your application into sap.btp namespace now we will keep everything by default what it is like the application title or the description the only thing which will change here is the option of yes add to add deployment configuration and add flp configuration this both we will say yes and we will go to the next step and here our environment is going to be the Cloud Foundry environment. We'll not be going to deploy to on-premise system, but to the Cloud Foundry. So we'll say to which environment we want to deploy, which is the Cloud Foundry. And uh, currently there is no destination, which we will be connecting to. So we'll say none to the destination or keep it as default. And to the option of add application to manage application router, we will say yes. Now the next screen is going to be the Fury Launchpad configuration. Now this is the configuration which uh, you will see or this is the, going to be what your tile of your SAP site will look like or here the Fury Launchpad will have. So this is going to be the section which will go into the tile which the application will represent. So I'm going to say the semantic object as a simple hello and a action to show the tile and the title here, which will actually appear is simple app one. And the subtitle is optional. So currently will not provide anything and say finish. So it's going to take few seconds and open the project with all the setting. Now I can navigate the bass from this left side menu options which are provided here and uh, if you want to learn bass in details then we do have sap bass course provided in ui5cn now what we get is a warning and uh, we'll still be ignoring the warning and open the application within our sap bass so what you see here is a structure of application which can be deployed into your SAP BTP environment. Now more about the basic understanding of this particular project, we will see in the next section. First, we will start with the theory and then the practical. Now within this section, we just want to deploy a very basic application. Now this basically will be a Node.js application. And currently our scope is to open this web app where your SAP UI5 application artifact will be sitting. And I'm gonna go into this view and open this view and I will open this uh, with a layout editor which will help us to select HTML components and drag it to the application view. So there are two kind of editors. One is the simple code editor and the other is the layout editor. I have opened the layout editor here in Bass. So the only thing which I'm going to add is a basic button. So I'm just going to search here button. So here we already have button. So I'm just going to drag it to the page and uh, this is going to say hello 
world. So the simple button we have and uh, press Ctrl S or Command S. So that's the only thing which I'm going to do in the text part. And uh, I can also preview this application. So I can just right click this application web app and say preview application. And from a lot of preview options, I'm going to just select this start no FLP Fury run open index.html where view cache equal to false. So this option I will select. So this will help me to preview the application in the local environment before I actually put it into the BTP and see if everything is working. So more about that, how the preview works and all we will cover in the next section where we are going to work in details those preview options as well. Now, what I can see is a hello world, this button is there. It doesn't do anything, but a very basic app is there, which is the hello world app. Now the time is to stop this service. And what I can do is I can press control C to stop this service in the terminal, in the below section, in the bottom part of my bass. So after pressing control C, the service stops. And uh, if you go to the preview and refresh it, then you are not going to get anything. So the preview is actually stopped. Okay, now the option is to build and deploy the application. So I will select this mta.yaml file and I will go and build MTA project. So this is the option which is selected and it's going to build the entire project and create a folder within your project. So you see a empty archive where there's a mtar file present. Okay, so once the build is done, then I'm going to just deploy MTR. Okay, so once the build is done, then I'm going to just deploy empty archive. So in the BAS, we have to also log in to Cloud Foundry before we do any build. So this is what is currently asked to log in. So I will ask, I will log in with my credentials. So I will go take my email and uh, but this is my email and password which I use to log in my BTP trial. So I will then provide my password and sign in. So it seems that I entered the wrong password. Let me try again. And second time I provided the correct password. Okay, now it is asking me to select the org and the space. So currently there's only single org of the trial. And this is the ID of that, which is EBE1121 F trial. And this is the dev space, the default space present. So I will say, select that. And what's going to happen now is it will take this mtar file and it will push to the Cloud Foundry. So what we'll see if I go to the Cloud Foundry in my dev space. So I have to navigate to spaces and uh, inside the dev space, the application will be put if everything is correct. So here in the instance, I will be seeing three services. So there are created. So one is the access UA, HTML5 application and the destination service. So these three things are created. Now I can also see these things if I navigate to the trial and uh, within this trial, if I navigate to this HTML5 application option, then I will be also seeing my HTML5 application. So it will take some time to refresh and see the content. And here you see SAP BTP simple app one. And if I click it, then I will see the basic hello world application. So it will ask, it is asking me to log in again. And I'm going to use the SAP BTP login credential to log in. And after logging in, it's taking some time to load the application. And uh, if everything is correct, and you see a simple hello world button here. Hello world. Okay, so this application is currently present in SAP BTP. And I can navigate from the HTML application and also inside the space, I have seen that. Now, is it currently present in my work zone? So if I try to refresh the work zone and it has somewhat 
it is inactive so it has logged me out so if i refresh and i am back to the work zone and i click on this menu top left menu then i can see the name channel manager channel manager content manager and uh, within the content manager what i can see is only a single role which is with the name everyone and uh, in the site directory i will see the site which is the fury sample site which we have created so what i will do is i will go to this channel manager and within this channel manager you can see here the content channels are there and here i will refresh so as soon as i refresh this then i will be able to have access to the newly deployed html application as well so it's updated now what i will do is i will go back to the content manager and from here i will go to content explorer and from here html5 apps and this is the app which we have just pushed sap.btp.simple app1 and i'm going to add this so as soon as i add this then uh, if i navigate to my content manager or just using this breadcrumb if i go to the content manager then i can see there is this app title now the next step is to create the group so i will create a simple group so this is the name of the group and i will say simple group one and uh, what i can do is i can also attach this application by saying the assignment status as and once i change the assignment status using the switch then this group is going to have this application and if i go to the content manager back then i will also see this simple group one and if i navigate inside then i have the application so these are two things which we have done now we we have gone to the channel manager we have updated it and uh, then we added the application from the content explorer and the same application we have added to a group which we have created now there is one more thing which we have to do to see the application which is to assign a role so currently the application will not be visible to you unless you have the every one role assigned to it so within the every one role i navigated and i say edit and here i'm going to assign this application to this everyone role and uh, save it so now the application is associated with this everyone role and the everyone role is actually assigned to all the user in sap btp account so you can see in the translation here in the description section content assigned to this role is visible to all user okay now what we'll do is we'll go to the site directory and then we will open the site which we have just created and hopefully we'll see the group and the group is simple group one and then the simple app one is also there and if i navigate to the application and if everything is correct then i will see my hello world button so this is my hello world button i hope that this simple exercise is clear where we created a hello world application in sap bass we added a simple button saying hello world then we built the application we deployed this application to sap btp and uh, within the html application we see that we have the sap uf application present in our org then we went to the site which is the sap fury launchpad in btp then we went to the channel manager and we updated the channel manager then we refreshed the html app section of the content channels and then we went to the content manager we added the application which is the app title via content explorer we created the group and to the group we added the application and then we added the application to the everyone role also so what will happen if i just remove the application from the everyone role if i just remove the role from this application and try to refresh then what will happen will i see anything i don't see anything i don't see any application in my fury site so you have to have a role associated with the application to be able to see that so which is here in this case everyone role so if i again add the everyone role to the application and refresh then i see my application okay so this is the basic application setup in the next section we are going to go in in little more details where we are going to also work with a 
Odata version 4 Northwind service and try to create an application which extracts data from the Northwind service. So let's catch up in the next section to see how to do that.